Boomerfest. I, I thought it was a firework go. show. No, Boomerfest is, as it implies, a festival for boomers. You say hey, boomers. <laughs> The wind was so bad. My neighbor's tent blew up. I lost one of my tents. <laughs> I lost one of my tent sides. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Happy market vlog. It's gonna be a different this market vlog because it is the day before the market, so I'm doing a tiny bit of prep. Really, I've done most of it already. I filmed some of it, and then tomorrow we go to the market. My throat is not feeling the best. I'm a little worried I'm getting sick, but I'm also on my period, so I, that tends to happen. I'm just tired. I, I'm emotionally exhausted. I'm emotional wreck. I had a day of work yesterday and I start full time back on Monday and if you've been here for a while, it's been like two years and a few months since um, I worked and I obviously have been at home with my son and I've been like on the verge of tears for the past month. Um, yesterday was rough for me and it wasn't even like, I didn't take him to daycare or anything. He had uh, my husband and then my um, his grandparents watch him. <sighs> Monday's gonna be rough. I know for sure I'm gonna cry. Absolutely. We actually are meeting with his daycare um, lady today uh, just so he can like know her face before I just drop him off on Monday. Um, I'm nervous. I'm just sad. I'm just sad. So this market prep, um, I'm doing it in one video, market prep, and then a vlog because I didn't do much this past week. I actually did pretty well at the show uh, last weekend in Oxford, but I had so much already prepped that I, I feel I feel good about the amount of stuff. I feel like I have over prepped again. Um, no problem. I'm launching my fall stuff tomorrow, so you'll get to see that, and I'll show you some of my like sneak peeks of what I embroidered because I loved this design so much that I just kept doing it and I did not get much sleep the last week but that's good because then I don't have to prep much for all my September shows and September is crazy with markets so we just have to get through this weekend and then another ugh, I didn't realize that but like I have two different shows in one weekend three days of shows but two different ones so um, that's coming up in a few weeks from now. Can't wait. I am glad and not uh, pleased that I know of this now, but our town has a bins and auction store. <laughs> you go, it's like what eBay used to be before they do the buy it now where, um, or make an offer. It's where like you, the bids start at like, five cents and it's all return stuff so it's like if you didn't like something from amazon you return it a lot of the companies don't want it back to their fulfillment center they send it to these uh liquidation centers to auction it off and i have one three miles from me and i just found it out and i am so embarrassed with the stuff that i have found and purchased um i'm pleased with some of it but then some of it's like what in the world so i will get into that in another video because that's just like a whole pandora's box we do not need to open but there's one thing i bought <laughs> i won <laughs> um that i am gonna take to the market with me two things um this one over here i i bought this like bamboo tray so i'm gonna take that with me actually three things <laughs> Okay, so the tray I'm going to take with me, um, if I can fit it, I'm not sure, because I have to actually take Asher with me and then give them to my mom to take home. He's not obviously staying at the show, 
Um, and so I had to give her some stuff to take to the show because I can't put his car seat and the truck and then fill my stuff up. So we'll see how much I can actually fit um, tomorrow. But I have Saturday, another show on Saturday, same place. Um, and so like, if something doesn't fit, I can just bring it the next day. But tomorrow should be the best day. Um, anywho, and then I have this bin here um, for my sale section because I had been using my son's toy bin and every time I use it I have to like the night before dump all of his toys out on the floor and then he just scatters them everywhere and so I'm like I just need another bin and I got that one I got that one in the bin so I didn't bid on it so that one was five dollars um that was worth it okay um but I just got an email today saying the bins are closing down in my town <laughs> and they're like consolidating it in a town 40 like miles from here which I'm not gonna go there uh so I don't know if the whole place is closing down or just the bins part that's something I guess I'll find out um in the next day because I said it's closing tomorrow <laughs> it'd probably be good if it just closes fully just because I have been obsessed with it like way too much where I just need to delete the app at this point um but I can't wait to show you a few of the items that I've purchased on there. One's from like Pottery Barn. Oh. Anyways, okay, we're not, we're not talking about that. Um, mm, I have a, I had this, I swear, it is in my Amazon cart, in my saved items, and I saw it on this bins thing, and I was like, oh my god, and I bid on it, and I won. Um, it was just me and like one other person bidding on it, because my area is like kind of in a rural part of, um, Indiana, Ohio, uh, I don't think a lot of people are going and like searching because there's like 20 something locations for this auction site. Um, ours probably is not a high, high on the list for people to like drive to. You know what I mean? It's just not near anything that you would be at unless you lived like right around here. Um, so I got this for two dollars. And it's sick, I think $65, and it's in my Amazon cart for that price. It is, <laughs> let me turn her on before I show you. A claw machine. I think she's like half broken <laughs> because, and I don't, maybe they all make this noise. Um. Oh yeah, I need to, she did not come with her coin. And so that's something I need to remember. Either I need to just bring a coin to fit in there, which makes the most sense. Or what I've been doing, let's see if this fits. It's just like wedging something inside of it. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> we have activated it. Again. Oh, you can make it um, less noisy or like no noise at all. Let me just take the noise off. Okay, I really want to get that ball because I want to put in the ball um, like free items. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I need more balls, dang it. I knew I wanted to get some like Easter eggs or something, but okay, oh my gosh. Maybe it's not as cool as I was thinking if it's not gonna work for people. Okay, oh yeah, and then I have to bring it. Did it stop working? <laughs> come on, B, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no wonder this was returned. I was playing with it and it was working the other day. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take it. I might end up getting rid of it while I'm there, depending how it works. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is, in these balls, I'm going to put little um, sheets. And so, I think I only have three balls, yes. I think it was supposed to come with more, but like the person that returned it didn't 
return it with everything. They kind of just have it shoved in the box, which is why I didn't get the little coin that came with it. Um, but I think I'm going to do like a free um, sale item, a free Stanley charm, and a free... Probably another free sale item, honestly. I want to get rid of my sale stuff <laughs> um, for purchases over like... I haven't really thought this through. Maybe like 35 or something. So, or a clothing item. That's 20. I'll figure that out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fun. That is really fun. Let me turn her off before she completely um, just melts down. Great. Was there anything else I wanted to tell you? before I give you a little sneak peek of what we're bringing I don't know okay um I went in the attic and I knew I had I knew I had some Halloween stuff that didn't sell from last year because I had only done one and um, my very first market was a fall market and so I had all this fall stuff and most of my fall stuff sold at that market but some of it didn't um and actually one piece specifically I didn't sell a single one of, and that's because when the market, it was like in October, like the very first week of October, the last day of September, I think that was the weekend I had the market, and it was very, very cold. And that's why all my sweatshirts pretty much sold. Um, but not a single one of this specific t-shirt sold. And even at the next show, which was like mid-November, I had all my um, stuff that didn't sell that was fall themed, half off, did not sell a single one. And so, I'm putting her back full price um, because why not? And um, I'm making her $5 less than I had her. It's a comfort color boxy tee. Um, and I think maybe that's why I didn't sell because it was like boxy tees are a little bit shorter. I love that length, but some people don't. Um, but I had her at 25 and now I'm putting her at 20. So we'll see how she does, but it's going to be warm. And so that's why I'm thinking like that's perfect weather if she's going to sell to sell her, you know, you know, I might as well just show her to you now. If you've been with me, you will recognize it. Okay, this is the one. It says, just waiting for Halloween. It has a little skeleton. She's cute. She's a cutie. I also had three of my Muscle Mummy workout tees left. Um, and so those are the fall t-shirts. And then we have, what's in here? Oh, we have, why are they all... Well, you can't see them. Um, my new, you've seen this, the, uh, sh I'm on a date with my book boyfriend and they're printed on, well not printed, but embroidered on my like really fancy new sweatshirts and I really love the color scheme and so I'm really hoping I can sell her. She's going to be 30 or not 30, $46 though, which, um, is a dollar higher than I've ever had anything marked, but just cause these blanks are expensive, <laughs> um, more expensive than comfort colors. And so, yeah, I have her at the lowest that I can sell her at and still like turn a profit. You know what I mean? And then, <laughs> we have some little pocket sweatshirts with these little ghosties reading books. How? cute is that i can't and i've made the books in different colors so what i'm doing with these um like fall sweatshirts is that i'm using up what i have left of my like i have gilded blanks scattered around this room um and i'm just trying to use what i have and not buy any more blanks and so i'm just repurposing some things because this was originally supposed to be one of my um today's vibe sweatshirts um but I had them as a blank just waiting to do that embroidery design and then I'm like no I'm just gonna do some cute little fall ones so I have all of those and then I have ugh, I think that oh dang I think this next design which is my absolute favorite because it's the most precious thing ever I think it's hidden so let's see if I can get it Oh no, okay, so this bag is um, more of the sh I'm on a date with my book boyfriend. Okay, are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this one. Hi, Lou. 
It's a little ghosty in a beanie drinking an iced whatever you want. Dr. Pepper, coffee, whatever makes sense to you. And I have them in a ton of different colors and I am so excited. I think these are going to fly off the racks. And I have them for $35. I had forgot, yes, $35. <sighs> I cannot wait. So really the rest of the night, what I need to do is, um, meet the daycare lady um go work out and then I need to do my signage um and then that's it oh and then pack the truck that'll be tomorrow morning though so um I'm gonna head off of here because it is time to start getting ready to get Asher ready to go to the Y and then to the daycare place so mm, I'm gonna be somber the next like week Maybe the next, like, month. We'll see. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm nervous. So, wish me luck. And I'll see you maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. Well, definitely tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Okay. morning let me get my chair i am just finishing up packing some orders and then we have to get on the road for day two of the market i did not film a ton i didn't film any of myself talking i was so stressed yesterday at the show and um like stress levels definitely the worst i've had so far the wind was so bad my neighbor's tent flew up and that just like all my stuff was crashing down the whole day but like her tent flying up and she had like the same kind of weights i do just like those big black bags of weights and it still flew i'm like oh um you'll see it uh i'm just hoping it doesn't look like it's windy today that today's just a little less of a cluster um f if you will i took asher with me to set up yesterday uh thinking that it'd be an easy drop off or like to give him to my mom because she didn't help with last night's market it was not it was chaotic it was terrible i will never do that again i was setting up until probably half an hour into the show it was that bad um so yeah, bad decisions were made yesterday, uh, but we learned from them. And yeah, now I know I can never bring Asher to a show to hand off to someone. It's just not going to work. And I had to take my stepdad's car um, home because we his car didn't have the function to uh, get his car seat in. And I don't know how to do it the way where you like strap it in with these seatbelts. I'm like, just switch me cars. Like at, the, at a certain point yesterday, I was just like, 
you guys have to leave. You have to leave. You have to let me just like set up because I can't keep like Asher's running off in like five different directions. Um, the car seat situation wasn't working. Like I spent half an hour just trying to figure out the car seat and could not. And so if you can tell in my voice, I'm already like, I'm just like panicky. I'm panicky. Um, yeah. 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 Everything is out of my control though. So I just try to remember that. Um, we did get four online sales though yesterday during the show, which is great because um, it wasn't as, it was really, okay, I, I will say it was really busy. I took fil like footage of the crowd. There had to have been like 500 plus people there, but they didn't come into our area. Some of them did, maybe like a sixth of those people did, um, but it was weird. Majority of them stayed over there, which sucked because it could have been amazing, you know, but I did get sales and so I can't be upset. Um, if I did not make sales, I'd be way more, like, defeated. It was really just, like, the weather and the setup that had my whole vibe, um, completely off. Completely off. Like, I texted Randy in the middle and I was like, I just want to go home. I was like, I am, like, literally about to cry. Because, again, all my stuff, all my stuff was just flying off. My setup looked so, like to me, it looked bad. I don't think any, everyone else, I, I had a lot of compliments on it. Um, it just, it, it looked really disorganized. <laughs> I sold maybe like four sweatshirts, less than I thought. Like I brought a ton of stuff. Oh, what is really scary, I lost one of my ten. Um, I lost one of my tent sides and so my tent is just open and they said they had security it's at a nursing home they said that nursing home security was going to be doing rounds oh let's hope my stuff is there let's hope the wind didn't just like tear everything out and I didn't the only thing I took home were my bookmarks and my charms because I had orders and so I'm I'm very nervous what happened to that wall I don't know um, we need to figure that out because I have more outdoor shows coming up. Oh, lordy. So yeah, when you're seeing the footage and you're like, oh, this is, I don't really talk during this. I'm probably just, I mean, you're just watching it in real time right now. I probably did a voiceover on it. Probably. Hmm. I still have like so much stress. I think it's because I just need to get there and make sure my stuff is still there. I hate leaving it, but I also couldn't pack it up. It's just me and I didn't have my car anyways. <laughs> and I got home at like 11 p.m. last night and I was in a traffic jam on the way home, um, which obviously made everything worse. What am I doing? We sold um, three of my little ghost beanies and coffees. We didn't sell a single book sweatshirt i almost had a lady buy my um nice like uh seafoam green sh i'm on a date with my book boyfriend sweatshirt uh and then she freaked out last minute because she wasn't for sure on her friend's size because it wasn't for herself um which sucks <laughs> but i gave her my card and she said she'd uh buy it on etsy so we'll see we'll see okay i'm gonna stop chit chatting and we need to get on the road because we need to do a whole new setup because I literally put everything in my um waterproof bags that I don't know if I told you guys I got them they're like moving bags put my sweatshirts in and then I threw some stuff in bins and so like we just have to place everything when we get there and I think the market is 12 to 6 today and so I'm on track to get there at 10 30 right now but I need to get gas because my stepdad's car, I had gas ready, but his car, because he wasn't expecting me and it does not have gas. And so I can't, I just cannot get there um, without getting gas. <sighs> Which sucks also because my gas gloves, if you're an OCD girly, um, I have gloves in my car. They're in my car. Uh, and so I'm going to have to use my actual hands for the pump. Which... <laughs> Shouldn't it be something that bothers most people? Um, but it has been absolutely <laughs> driving me crazy since I found out I needed to get gas and remembered I don't have my gas gloves. I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go to the gas station here in town 
And then I'm going to go to the TJ Maxx parking lot that has a blue box and drop all these packages off and then run into TJ Maxx and wash my hands. And that's how I'm gonna problem solve this. Okay, gotta stop talking, see you soon. dirty nothing new uh i will quickly just tell you what should have taken it takes my mom and i about half an hour to pack everything up it took us an hour and a half because that's how many people were still shopping while we were packing up and like um trying to leave <laughs> so lots of late bloomers on this one that's because the event technically went until 10 p.m and we were originally supposed to be there till 10 p.m but about two weeks prior to the event they said they changed their mind and for safety reasons they wanted vendors out of the area by 6 p.m and so we were out but it was kind of sucked because that's when a lot of people were coming in so i um, definitely missed out on some sales but that's okay i'm home now i can't wait to shower and it's still daylight and i get to see asher so um i'm not am i that mad probably not did i miss out on money probably <laughs> okay i'll check in with you um in a new day it has only been one day. This is great, post-show breakdown. Sometimes it can be a month before I get to actually talking to you guys because I forget to film it and then um, when I'm uploading and editing, that's when I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to do this. Um, it's only been less than 24 hours since we've gotten back from the, it was a two day, it was a two day show but there were two different shows. One was Party in the Park in Centerville, Ohio and the other at the same place was Boomer Fest. I promise, I did not know I was signing up for Boomer Fest. Um, I thought I was signing up for Party in the Parks, but this was like a, I don't know if they've done this before, I think it was their first time doing a combined two days, like the same vendors, but two different events. Um, because I signed up for Fall Fest with them, and that is a one day, and it's like, it's a Party in the Park, but it's like their Fall Fest. I could be like totally making all of this up but in my mind I was signing up for one day and then I started getting emails being like it's a two day and I'm like okay well awesome um but I have <laughs> the breakdown of everything boomer fest when I first saw the word boomer fest I don't know why I think I know why it, I thought it was a firework show I'm like it's August but I guess like Fourth of July season, it's still around. We're still doing fireworks. Um, uh, Columbus, Ohio has a big uh, red, white, and boom festival. And I was like, I just, I just thought that's what the theme was. No, Boomer Fest is, as it implies, a festival for boomers. <laughs> Baby boomers. Um, when I say my demographic was not represented there, it was not. Um, so keep that in mind when I'm going through the stats. All right, I did my best <laughs> to, um, usually like with cash uh, purchases, I don't 
write down like what it was um, and how many transactions. I tried writing it down. I know I missed a handful of them and so my transaction number is going to be a little off. I'm really just going to go off like Venmo and my square count to give me the actual numbers. Um, but I did write some of the cash ones down so we can be a little more accurate here. Okay, it was $100 for both days, like total $100 to vend. It was an hour from my house. Gas for two days, that's four hours of driving. I probably, I'm really gonna rough this here. I spent around $50 in gas. Um, I think in food, I spent around $50 again. Let's say, let's just go ahead and say we spent $100 in um, transportation and food while at the show. So $200 really is what we're in the negative. Uh, okay, my goal, I don't know, well I do know, I do know, I was stressed. I was so stressed. I didn't talk to you guys uh, the first day. I didn't actually talk to you guys on the second day either. Um, the wind was so bad. It was crazy. I think I mentioned my neighbor's tent flew up and ever since that happened I was like, just panicky. I had everything tied down. I my stuff wasn't gonna go anywhere, but I still it was flying. It was flying everywhere. But like my main things, like my tent and my clothing racks, I had tied down to weights and staked to the ground. And so it wasn't gonna go anywhere. But it still was a fear of mine. And I still was dealing with like my bookmarks flying off the um, the racks, which has not happened before. I had my Stanley charms kept flying off because there would just be huge gusts of wind. And someone behind me did not show up. And so I was literally and three of the four corners out in the open, <laughs> which for when there was no one blocking me. I had a neighbor friend, Kayla, um, and that was the only person that was like connected to me. It was Kayla and I. <laughs> so it was, it was a lot. I felt very like, I think it has to do with, I'm also going back to work tomorrow. And so like, I've just been panicky inside anyways. And so I just like was heightened in anxiety. Okay, anyways, now that you know that part of it, um, the weather itself, other than the wind, felt so nice. The wind felt good. I did not sweat the entire time. Um, even though it was 80s, the wind made it feel like 70s, and so I was comfy as far as temperature went. I brought a fan, didn't use it. I only had one super, uh, negative, well... <laughs> It wasn't super negative. I just had one interaction where I was like, that was rude. That was very rude. And it was a boomer that came up. And um, and I was talking to customers. Like, I was checking people out. Like, I had a bunch of people in my booth at that time. And it was an older woman who... Um, yes. <laughs> You're going to see Asher in a second. An older woman who just had no manners at all and she came Mama. like and hello blurted in like to my conversation and was like who's the designer of this and like she was talking loud maybe she had hearing problems i'm not gonna diagnose her who knows um and she like pulled me away from my conversation and like demanded to know <laughs> who did i have my um i have a little ghost with a book embroidered sweatshirt Mama. And I was like, she was like, is this your design? And I knew what she wanted. She was asking me because she wanted to make that sweatshirt for her like granddaughter or daughter. And so she wanted to know exactly who I got from so she could make it. But she went about that so incredibly rude. And it just left me like, that's, like that is not how you treat people at all. And I was like, and I was honest, like I wasn't gonna lie to her. I was like, I have no idea what the girl's name was. I was like, I got um, that design on Etsy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm like, you could have just Googled, like, ghost book embroidery, you know what I mean? Half the designs are mine. I was so hoping that she was gonna show me one of my designs and I could be like, um, you're not gonna find that, so you're gonna buy it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever, that was, so that was the worst interaction I had, and if that's the worst I had for the day, it's actually a good day, so. Um, I only had a couple people make like remarks about prices. It is what it is. That is always going to happen. I did not do as well as I thought I was going to. I will tell you now, I thought I was going to for sure make over $1,000 for the two days combined. Um, and I did not. So let's go into stats now. Okay, we're going to just like rough estimate this. I had... 
I had 20 confirmed sales through Venmo and Square for the two days. And I'm gonna say we had about 10 cash sales. I think that's a fair estimate, maybe. Maybe we'll say 15. So we had between 30 and 35 sales total for the two days. That's not great, that's not great. Um, but we haven't been doing great lately anyways. And so, well, the last show was good. Uh, but yeah, I don't like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, money, I made $293 in cash. There was a ton of cash. I do think part of that was because it was a boomer fest um, for the one day and they do tend to, <laughs> being a stereotype, they do tend to carry cash on them a little more than other people. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe just for like food vendors, people coming to party in the park and to boomer fest because they want to eat and like listen to music because it was all live music the whole time. Um, maybe because some food vendors only accept cash, people are more likely to bring cash with them. That's kind of what I'm thinking because that was actually a almost tied for card and the amount of money that um i like received which is crazy so i had 293 in cash 104 in venmo 313 in card which means i had 710 dollars total that also is including tax on the card um and so really it's like let's say upper 600 of like what I actually made and so I really take out a couple hundred I made a decent chunk of money at this two day um, So I am by no means saying it was not worth it. I sold stuff. It was worth it I need to make bookmarks. I sold a lot of bookmarks um, That was my number one seller BB And then my Stanley charms I probably would say number two and then my ghost with the beanie and the iced coffee, um, that was my like third best seller. And so overall, I had a good time, minus the tent situation and the wind. Like I literally, I was texting Randy on the first day and I was like, cause I was by myself at that point, And I was like, I want to go home so bad. Uh, Would you break? What was that, Bubba? Can I pull you out? Would you break anything? It was a very unpleasant experience, um, the wind. And I've dealt with wind before. Like we're in Ohio, we have, we have days where it's very, very windy, you know? But my friend, Kay <laughs> I call her my friend, my the neighbor next to me, um, Kayla did, uh, we did a trade. I, I got more than, she, so she bought one of my um, charm necklaces and I was like, Although I would love to not spend money, right? And just get something like of equal value. I couldn't. I wanted this guy. This is <laughs> this is a, a 3D printed, uh, I'm considering it a fidget. Uh, I'm taking it to work with me so like kids can fidget with it in my office because why not? Like it's really cute and I just love the colors in it. Um, but she sells these and this one was $30 and um, she's a cutie. Yeah, and I'm excited to take this with me tomorrow. Because tomorrow is my first day. And then she gave me a stand to put on, so it'll be cute. Um, that was a highlight. I'm excited for Fall Fest because that's a one day, and in the fall, people, I really just need people to be cold and buy my sweatshirts because that's what really makes me money in sales. Uh, so hopefully that will happen at the next one. And then from there, we'll see if I sign up for more. I probably will. It was well ran. Um, like the negatives were just weather, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. That was my two-day market. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave in the comments if you're, you're from like the area that I am. Um, if you have any like spectacular markets you wanna suggest to me, I'm gonna probably just try to stick to one days from now on um, and not do three days. It's gonna be too much, especially with working and then not seeing Ash. So. so leave that in the comments and I will see you in the next video, which will be a studio vlog because we have two more weeks to my next market. Bye!